Hydroculus ahead. What's with the flying box? This one seems to want me to uh, talk to it. Anecdota Septentrionalis. Ah, we'll read that later at some point in time. Oh, well, in that case, I don't want to miss anything. You better present yourself so I can get the full series. Oh my. Submit. Use Lost Grimoire to activate the mysterious bookshelf. I don't have a Lost Grimoire. A strange book of magic that has, by the symphonies, that just looks wrong. Power. Calmed down at last. You should have just put that on the end. If you have the chance, you might want to return it to its shelf. So this is something I should get later. I believe. Okay, guys, if we get a grimoire, it has to go back here. Except that's going to appear on the above world, but, you know, it is what it is. Ah, but I want the loot. Oh, what's that? Well, Pum bets a lot of people can live in a huge castle like this. Oh, I wasn't aware we were in the castle. I thought we were taking the ruins to get to the castle. But of course, and not just people either. Hey, there you go again, saying creepy stuff with a straight face. Oh, fresh not. Surely heroes such as yourselves would dispatch any hidden ghosts or phantoms without breaking a sweat. And what is this? What an exquisite box it is. I would love to have one. It seems like a music box of some kind. Still, it doesn't seem to fit in too well with its surroundings. Good eye. This is indeed a music box, but just as I have knowledge beyond ordinary cats, this music box has functions beyond most others. My my, I didn't think you could be quite so catty. Hey, Pamela was just joking before. She didn't think you'd take it seriously. Um, it's Pamela's fault, okay? Don't be mad. Seriously, now you pretend to be a cat? Anyway, even those who lack any musical knowledge can freely operate in the power of the symphony using this box. We'll have use of it later, I am sure. Why can't I have the opportunity to use my musical knowledge? Huh? But isn't it because this symphony has gone all wacky that all the townsfolk turned into whatever they are now? So what if Lenora presses the wrong button or something? The symphony here may also become chaotic. What sort of clumsy clod do you take me for, Paimon? Paimon's just thinking about the worst case scenario. Maybe Aura might jump out from a corner and scare you. Or... One of those moving up, those unmoving statues might start walking around. Or maybe traps might spring from the ground and the walls. Any of those could happen, right? Peace now. You need not be so fretful. The symphony was mighty, beautiful, and glorious once. An existence that shouldered golden ideals. That it sows chaos upon the surface is a mere mishap of misalignment. The result of evil doers misusing great, glorious power. But were it Lunara, surely she would wield its power correctly. That's putting quite a lot of trust in us. It might be more accurate to say that I have no other option. I am a mere cat at present, after all. Should I wish to make use of this music box myself, it might prove somewhat difficult. We have spoken this much. Now, to put things to the test. Remember the strings we got from the harp and the ruins? Those were, in truth, the scores on which the symphony was recorded. As long as you- I wish they would choose whether the symphony has a capital S or not. As long as you place a score into the music box, the box shall play its tune all on its own. Is that a good or a bad thing though? We don't really want the symphony to be played. Look at that cute little ship! What am I doing? Auto harmonic music box. And things are locked. Play the first score. Locus Amoinus. Okay. Locus Amoinus. It is said that the first terrestrial creatures emerged from the warm oceans. The lands then were fertile, producing all in abundance. The gifts bestowed by fate were so ample that it seemed as if the land itself had been specially prepared for them. A moving melody accompanies a swift ship as it cuts through the azure waves. The Outlander gently plucks at the harp strings, telling his companion, From here to the ends of the sea, all this I give to thee, until that day comes. I'm gonna read quickly. Oh, is that it? Oh, 
one's pretty. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty happy tune. Pama's feeling a warm and fuzzy inside. He, he. It seems this box still functions. Well now, are we not safe? Wait, so you weren't even sure if it would work or not? Not completely. One cannot judge a box by its cover. Do not concur. Pama gets the feeling that you're not talking about the box at all. Never mind that. What should we do now? The chaotic symphony must be here. If we can locate it, we can retrieve the souls that have been taken from the townsfolk. Um, let's have a look around for starters. A reasonable judgment. If memory serves, this castle has seen a great many strange rooms. Perhaps they are worth investigating first. Also, the castle's central hall plays host to a mysterious stage, though no more plays shall ever be performed there. It was once an entrance to a place deeper underwater still, where the power of the symphony yet lingers. We must go and check for any further anomalies there. Deeper still? Indeed. I wonder what awaits us there. Hey, now's not the time to leave us hanging, Aura. You're a surprisingly petty one, huh? Still, before the riddle may be solved, we must first find the clues that await us in the castle. Come, let us away. We shall away. The Might of the Ancient Symphony. The Enigmatic Symphony. Again, pick a capital letter or don't. Be consistent, man. Seems to be from... A, I'm sorry. I'm in, like, super proofreader mode at the moment. I mean, I usually am pretty pedantic, but, like, I've been proofreading recently, so it's, it's frustrating me. <laughs> Seems to be from a now-destroyed civilization. You can use its power to unleash two types of sound waves. Use the power of a symphony to resonate with entities that react to the power of music. Press to activate a pause sound wave and cause specific objects in the area to stop moving. Continuously hold to activate a play sound wave, which will cause specific objects in the area to start moving or reactivate entities affected by a pause sound wave. I really wish they would give video tutorials, man. Special music notes float above objects that can be influenced by the power of the symphony. When they resonate with specific sound waves, the notes above them will also change. Not all objects that can be influenced by music can resonate with different sound waves. Most of them can only interact with a specific sound wave, so you just keep trying until something works. Canticles of Harmony, now, Best Movement, and the Fall of the Sea King. Shut up, Yobia. Trying to read the title here. Have some respect. Underwater Nocturne, continue exploring the faded castle. Okay, well, you kind of fast traveled me here. Oh god, where was I? Down here. Up, up and away. I wasn't ready to come up here yet. See? All this loot you're making me miss out on? Hmm. Is this the deepest still she was ref referring to? I really shouldn't be doing this. Thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, will we find any firework materials in here? Uh, should I be equipping something? She hasn't given me anything to equip. What? Use. Uh. How do I play the music then? You haven't given me a gadget. Hmm? Oh, it's a T. What does the T do? I'm too far away. Please, give me a tutorial. Mysterious grimoires. I really ought to go back to where I'm supposed to be. I'm sure we'll come here eventually. Grimoires have been left the, pff, that have left the bookshelf and appear out of nowhere in the castle due to the discordant melody's influence. Seize the opportunity and use the power of the symphony by pressing to unleash a pause sound wave and stop in midair. Pick up the grimoires. Oh, and return them to the special bookshelf. Okay. Come here, you. Give me that. He ya I ask of thee, art thou mankind? The tenth muse. 
I'm sorry, but there are only nine. Mere Nostram, light up the maps of the following areas in Fontaine. Nostoi Re... Look, did you have a choice? Really? Okay, I'm just gonna get back now. After I get this, because I came to a height. Because this seems like it's a big area. Uh, n n no, Yumiya. Let's not do this. Or that. Thank you. Ah! Never mind, this is the way to the bus. We can go around, can't we? Huh, oh, man, you gonna attack me? Someone cooth. Strike a pose! Time for a light show! A fist of reprise! Wait, didn't one of you say that she says a festive reprise? A, repre refre a festive reprise? Who pronounces that word reprise? R E P R I S E is reprise. Hmm? I guess confused. Ooh, will we find any firework materials in here? Who, who pronounces it reprise? I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm losing my mind. That makes absolutely no sense. No, you know what? I'm looking it up now. That that doesn't make any sense. Oh boy, I wasn't expecting to open that can of worms. Holy heck. I am getting so many different interpretations of history. I do not know which one is correct. First version. The noun is reprise and the verb is reprise. That's one version of events. Second version of events. Reprise comes from French, therefore it's pronounced that way, but apparently there was a great vowel shift when we went from E to I sounds, the I, like the I something E. So it became reprise. There's that version of events, so then reprise became the correct way of pronouncing it. Uh, another version of events have reprise being have UK um, and then reprise being the American. I actually don't have a correct answer to my question. I've been given so many different versions by so many different people online on different forums and they all seem to be from language-based forums. So I don't know who's right. I really don't because all of those sound plausible. Having different pronunciations based on the usage of the word noun and verb is a thing. Having different pronunciations due to time and history is a thing. And having different pronunciations due to regions of the world, i.e. UK English versus US English is a thing. I don't know which is true. <laughs> I'm still going to say it's reprise because that's the only way I've literally ever heard this word in my life and I'm sticking to it. I was going to say, is this going to hurt? But then I realized I'm on easy mode. Hi, sir. Statue of Marble and Brass, Legatus of Legion Athenatoi. The night is cold. Hi, sir. Cold. I know you need Geo, but I don't have that on me right now. Foot. So you're just gonna have to work with me. I'm about to make other things. Ooh, hello. Can we destroy this? Brilliant. Beware of the Ramurians. My guiding stars, don't be scared. Shower me with praise. Time to shine. This seems super loud. Barbados. Is that just me? Time for a light show. Down? Holy shit. Get in the room, yeah. You don't want to stand here and take my damage? Ugh. Not now. Stars, shine for... That's a no from me, sir. I can just tank pretty much all of this shit. Easy mode. Oh, come back here. Don't be scared. Fire hazard. Dead. Oh, he falls apart. I'm sorry, sir. You were very pretty, and I did really appreciate the way you fought. It was very interesting to watch your different attacks. A lot of the times these things are really boring and I don't enjoy them at all, but that was interesting. I, en I enjoyed that. Can I climb the window? Or do I have to climb the, the pillars? Pillar it is. I'm doing this with no stamina. That was not my brightest idea. Can I get you from here? Negative. 
<laughs> what about here? The answer is no, because she's facing the wrong <laughs> fucking direction. And apparently we can't change direction when we're midair. Lame. <laughs> Piece of shit. Okay. There we go. Okay. Can we leave and never come back? Because you probably give me materials for Alakina. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It would make sense for you to do so. Well, actually, would Remuria? She doesn't have anything to do with Remuria, does she? But then why is this her storyline if she doesn't have anything to do with Remuria? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe she wants to harness the powers of Remuria? Whatever. Couldn't have gone ahead two steps to unlock that. Now I have to go up on foot. I clearly did not think ahead. Good God, the electro pop came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. What's outside this window? Pretty. Is there a second one? changing my lineup. I really do. I don't know what to because I either have to do something I've already done before or I have to... I didn't even see that. Um, well, that's oh, just teasing me. Honestly. Rude. Okay, well, we're going to have to sort that out later. Um, or I'm going to have to level up a character, which I really don't feel like doing, to be honest. I just want to explore this place. So, hmm, I'm at a bit of a loss. What I feel like doing. That is very majestic. I like this in a courtyard. Technically, I could have anybody I want in this particular position, so long as they were a uh, self-sufficient character. Because these two here do their own thing. I don't even need to deal with them. They just react with each other. You have Layla putting cry damage on enemies over time, and then Farina freezing them over time. So they react of each other and I don't really need to engage. So anyone who just does their own thing can go into this slot. Um, like Sino, I guess, could technically do that, but I was kind of bored with Sino's uh, kit. He wasn't as fun as I thought he would be. Uh, hmm. I don't have that many characters to play with. <laughs> Leveled. I was all very super focused on these particular characters. And they all have particular build sets. Yeah, I don't really feel like playing any of you because I've played you guys. Anyone who's leveled, I've played with you and I've moved on emotionally from you. And then everyone else is too low level. Hmm. Hmm, what a conundrum. I don't realize I get bored so, so soon. It's been ages since I put Yomi on my body. Maybe I should make the argument for leveling up Mona. Except I'm not going to do that right now. So why would I put her in when she's subpar? Oh well, if you die, you die. This is destiny. What weapon do you have, Mona? Let's ask the important questions right now. <gasps> yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, do we want to take two seconds, just two seconds, to give her literally any- I don't have anything to give her. I literally don't have any free. Oh, I do. I- oh, I've picked up trash. Okay, I have some trash I can give you, Mona. This seems like a terrible idea. It really does. I should stop and level her. But I want to do Remuria. I'm on like a roll here. Use methods suited to dealing with Geo. Destroy the resonators. Yeah, that I figured out for myself. And, uh, low level. I win. Hmm. Should we? Should we? Hmm. I completely forgot. Oh, no. I can't use Mona. For this reason. I can't, I can't do it. Can I?
use the power of something to resonate with activated bookshelves. Halt unleash plow sound wave that will cause the grimoire to fall off the shelf and press unleash to unleash pause. That will stop them. If you can stop the grimoires in just the right positions, perhaps you can open the roots hidden behind the bookshelves. Yeah, that much I figured out for myself. Again. I only have one book to put back though. Um, yeah, so am I okay with this? To be fair, I rolled with Ayaka for a while like that. Nah. I don't even think I can do anything with her. I don't even think I have a weapon she can use. Um, I don't have any yellow, so I'm ignoring those. The Widsith is the next one. Who's using the Widsith, by the way? Nobody. Oh, that's at the bottom of the list. Free to play. Oh. Oh, well, that's probably it. Frickin' Nahida. Give it to me! To be fair, Nahida is not currently in use. Oathsworn Eye is a option number four, which doesn't really bode well. What's the difference? You do elemental mastery, you do attack percent. Uh, infusion scroll triggering an elemental reaction grants an 8% elemental damage bonus 10 seconds match 2 stacks people of faltering light increases energy recharge by 24% 10 seconds after using it yeah I mean it's not the worst thing I've seen I perception sacrificial fragments yeah it's probably gonna have to be this oh I can't you need a book I literally can't do that to myself ouch after damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has a 40% chance to end its own cooldown. Oh, you have one of those. It's not a very pretty book for you, though. But I can fully uh, refine it, which is something I can't refine this at all. Although I don't know what your skills are. Probably should have looked at that before I made any decisions. How do you work, Mona? Let's start there. Yeah, 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 whatever. Creates an illusory phantom of fate from coalesced water spouts. Okay. Continuously taunts nearby opponents, attracting their fire. Continuously deals hydro damage to nearby opponents. When its duration expires, the phantom explodes, dealing AoE hydro damage. Okay. Hold. Utilizes water currents to move backwards swiftly before conjuring a phantom. Okay. Only one phantom created by mirror reflection of doom can exist at any time. Yeah. Okay. And your RQ. Alternate sprint. Nope. Q. Mona summons the sparkling waves and creates... Aren't they normally together? Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Traps opponents inside a pocket of destiny and also makes them wet. Renders boy weaker opponents immobile. When an opponent... Affected by a loser. So I can't even use this against a boss. Uh, when an opponent affected by the bubble sustains damage, it has the following effects. Applies an omen to the opponent, which gives a dam damage bonus, also increasing the damage that you attack that causes it. Removes the bubble, dealing higher damage in the process. So during its duration, increases damage taken by opponents. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is so not happening. Does her leveling also require that? <laughs> Ah, ah, never mind. We're not putting her in. I can't do anything with her with Bobber Flowers. Absolutely not. Anyone else wants to level in the next two seconds that I can conceivably increase the level of? Anybody? Anybody at all? Hmm. I don't have the mats for either of you. Not to mention, you probably do not flourish in the team I have here. Evil shall be dispersed. I don't think I have the mats for you, Shao, in any way, shape, or form. I wouldn't anyway, because you need boss materials, which I won't have for him. Oh dear God, Jingjin! Jesus, I don't have that. I've got your slime condensate. Yeah, that's gonna be the issue right there. That's fine. We can work on that. Yeah, it's way too much tension. Ooh, we actually may run into a slime issue, of all things. Ah, oh, no, we have plenty there. We should be fine. But then he would use that for his talents, would he not? Yeah, I see how it works. Yeah, okay. It's not going to work. I am not going to be able to conceivably level up a character right. without abandoning ship how absurd. right now. Which is really frustrating. I'm really bored with the current setup, Yumiya. 
but I don't want either of them. Uh, I them um, I just I just I don't like any of my options. I'm just gonna have to go back to Yumiya. I am so displeased. <laughs> Let's go out and play. No, there's nothing excitable about this, dear. I'm very unhappy. <sighs> Doesn't mean I have to look at you. Oh, but she's too blendy. She blends. Oh, come back here. Where did it go? There it is. Time for a light show. Oops. Come here, you. Should we go do the one back down here since we have a lost grimoire? They just don't have specific names. Is it just one grimoire per location or what? Submit. Okay, consider yourself submitted. I just felt like I need to back off a little. Hmm, that didn't work. How does this work? I've given you permission to move books. How does this work? I don't think I understand. I don't think I understand. But I did hold. Did it just not take? Ah, oh, I just didn't take. Oh, oh, I see. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> this place needs some serious dusting. It's got spider webs and everything. Oh, hello. What are you doing over here in this corner all by yourself? Aren't you lonely, yeah, sir? Come on. You look lonely. That's just rude. Ooh, let me open it. You already opened it, dear. Ooh, I get hilts from him. Ruggiero's Notes 1. Oh my, we could be here for a while. The Golden Hunter knows far more about Remuria than I expected. Who is the Golden Hunter? According to historical records, the Marcherase hunters should, sorry, it's such a habit to say phantoms, <laughs> should have first become active a few decades after the fall of Remuria, by which point the concept of Loch Knights had completely died out in Fontaine. No matter the dramatic adaptation, none would put the Marache Hunters, Remuria, and Knock Knights together. For those... Why is there a capital letter there? For these concepts simply do not belong to the same era. Even a five-year-old child would not commit such a grave error. Yet they're the same thing? Hmm? Yet none of what he discussed seemed to have anything to do with the Golden Troop, but instead was, indeed always was, about ancient Remuria. I have a theory that I dare not raise with him directly. Perhaps the Golden Hunter is not the devout orphan called and chosen by Egeria. Shit, Egeria. But is in fact one of the last Remorian remnants. I read that and did not read a single thing. He has a theory. The Golden Hunter is not chosen by Egeria, but is simply a Remorian. Okay. The only problem with this theory is that it cannot explain his immortality. Well, it, weren't the Remurians immortal? I indirectly broached the issues of the Log Knights with him. I couldn't discuss his, discern his expression, but he seemed... Why? He seemed reluctant to discuss the topic. Quite surprising. After all, it is commonly said that the first Marashai hunters to follow him were the heirs of the Log Knights, such as Este and Malta. Could it be that they were like him? No matter what, according to him, the priority now is to stop awakening from the seals. As for these historical questions, they can be left for a later date. Interesting that I turned into the traveler to read that. It's the paintings of Remuria. Nice. Now, if you could please make way. 
out of the way, you recalcitrant books. Okay, thank you. Now do the same with the second bunch. I want more lore. Sorry, there's a more more next door. I apologize if you can hear that. Submit. Get. Oh. No law for me. Oh, I want a law. We find any firework materials in here? I don't get law. If I don't get law, you don't get firework materials. We can now get rid of that. I have done that. 